Hey guys, it's John Fagan with Superior Realty Partners. Today I want to do a quick market update now that we're into the fall and more specifically a question I've been getting a lot from both clients and friends as well as real estate agents is are we feeling a slowdown here in the market here in Silicon Valley? <laughs> But before we get into today's topic, I want to point out two things on the site here. One, if you're looking for a home, click on the home search button to the left on the page here. And right below that, if you're looking for your home's value, enter your address there in the, uh, in the box to get your home's value. And now today's topic, though, I want to talk about, you know, that we're in the fall. Let's talk about the market. And I, a lot of people have asked, you know, are we feeling a slowdown? Things like things, seems like things have really slowed down. And so I wanted to go back and look at the numbers and see if it's just the normal you know, fall season, school started, things slow down, it always happens, or is it more than that? And so, you know, I went back and compared September's numbers in 2016 with 2015 to compare year over year. And actually looking at just Morgan Hill, I wanna take a small area um, to really compare. And looking at this number of sales are identical as well as new listings coming on the market. So those numbers are exactly the same from 2015 to 2016. Um, we have a few more active listings this year over last year. Um, but the biggest number that stands out is the days on market has increased almost 50%, actually just above 50%. So that's where we're seeing the slowdown. You're seeing these homes stay on the market longer before they sell um, from last year. So that's definitely showing a little bit of a slowdown. Um, but I wanted to look in a little bit further. So I compared the numbers back to July, which, you know, typically a hot summer market. Um, and again, it's the, the numbers are even greater is the number of sales have dropped 20% when looking from July to September of this year. Um, so that would make you feel the slowdown and the days on market is actually up a little over 60% when comparing July of this year to September of this year, 2016. So we are feeling a slowdown a little bit more than normal. We always feel a little bit of a slowdown uh, once school starts and coming into the fall. Um, but it is a little bit greater this year when you see how much longer things are taking to sell, um, you know, 60 days, 60% 60 more days on market. So it went from 28 in July to 46 days in September days on market. Um, and the number of sales are down, which is normal for this type of year. But when it's that big of a drop over a couple months, um, you really start feeling what, what now we're all calling is a, a bit of a slowdown in the market. Um, but realistically, let's look at it. We still only have 2.6 months of inventory, and that's a number we look at, absorption rate. What that means is if no new homes come on the market, all the homes currently on the market would sell in 2.6 months. They'd all be sold based on the number of sales we're seeing every month. Um, and the number they use is six months is kind of average. If it's below six months, it's a seller's market. If it's above six months, which we haven't seen in a while, it would be a buyer's market. So that till, still says it's still a good time to sell there's still low inventory. So if you're a seller, it just means you need to price the home properly um, to get the buyers in there and expect still that it may take a little bit longer to sell um, than it has been in, the, in months past. And that's typical this time of year anyway. Maybe it's a little bit higher, but it's typical to be a little bit longer this time of year anyway. So it's important to price your house properly if you're looking to sell. Still a good time with low inventory. And for the buyers, the rates are still really good that if you're looking to buy, it's a good time to get out there and buy. Um, and it may take a little longer to find the right home because inventory is low, but it's still a great time with rates to get out there and buy. If you have any other questions specific about your neighborhood or your city that you'd like me to address, go ahead and shoot me a, an email or a call. Um, or again, have topics that you'd like us to cover on future videos, shoot me an email, john at superiorrealtypartners.com, or you can leave a comment and I will look, look forward to seeing you on the next video. Thanks.